Ladies and gentlemen, Kiki here. Welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys had a good day trading today. Market is down about 0.3% there. On the S&P, Nasdaq did get hit a little bit harder there, 0.8%. Semiconductors green though. Dow is flat. Russell 2000, half a percentage positive. Transport green, banks green. Energy continues to make a move today, 1.3% positive. Biotech up today, uh, healthcare down, home builders up, utilities down a little bit, retail up half a percentage, emerging market down a little bit there. So it looks like uh, we got the NASDAQ and the semiconductor, or NASDAQ and SP 500 down, but it looks like every single sector, other sectors, uh, slightly green today. Obviously, we got, you know, healthcare, utilities down or something like that, but it's a slightly green today overall it looks like bitcoin is up about 10 percent there gold silver miners making a move today surprisingly we have silver and the miners close to three percent update today dollar flat oil down treasure bond flat uh vix is down a little bit let's stick with smb 500 etf spider 65 minute chart here So this is where we closed on Friday and uh, it looks like this is where we opened up today. So we slightly gapped up and uh, buyers made that little bit of move there on the first hour. But that gap up was quickly filled. It looks like on that first hour, little fluctuations. You can see that on that lower wig. And then the second hour, you can see that micro term resistance at work pretty much throughout the entire day here. So on the second hour, uh, came back down. We held my micro term moving average. You see that's kind of a light green moving average here. So that's what held up that selling pressure from the second hour and the third hour. We see that little bit of spinning top. And then on the fourth and fifth, we need a move. And then again, that uh, micro term resistance was right there uh, and then kind of got flushed again. And then you can see my short term. And then my, uh, my micro term and the short term moving edge are both acting as support. And so those guys are trying to help out the bulls here. You can see uh, that was, uh, you know, Friday or Thursday evening or Friday looks like. That was Friday. And then this is today. So uh, the short term and the long and the short term and the micro term, uh, the moving average is supporting the buyers. But we talked about quite a bit on last week's analysis that you know as long as this gap remains open bears are not going anywhere so this is kind of the level where we, we we're seeing this kind of a you know bulls are trying to get up but you can see even that micro term resistance getting you know respected here bulls are not even able to get all the way back up to even retest the gap area that in itself shows weakness uh, just looking at the price action here. So buyers are not really confident, right? They, they're trying to bring it up. They're, they're utilizing the short term and the micro term moving averages to prop itself a little up a little bit, but just kind of, you know what I'm saying? Not have to find that traction. Uh, it seems as though, though, you know, all, you know, throughout the day today, it looks like a slightly green day, but looking at the S&P 500 here, I, I have to say it, bears are still kind of in control in the short to midterm. Let's check out that oscillator and see if we can extract any more information. So you can see if I zoom out here, this is kind of what I talked about. Though we have the oscillator cross here, you can see how the oscillator is telling us that there is no confidence uh, in the bulls. And you can see that, you know, that oscillator is kind of curling back down. So if we start to see a whipsawing action, something like this here, this thing crossed back down, bears probably going to bring it back down. And we're talking 438 or so. So this is an important juncture here. If bulls don't bring it up quickly and make this oscillator, because, you know, bulls are really utilizing that short to a uh, short term and micro term moving average to stay above. Uh, this important level here 444 445 level that's a good thing right and what they need to do gotta get it up tomorrow as quickly as possible to keep this oscillator continuing to the upside right 
to keep that momentum going, you might ask, what momentum are you talking about? Okay, I'm talking about the short-term trend bulls have developed here. And obviously, in the midterm, trend is bearish. But in the short term, which I talked about, you know, uh, last week, in the short term of things, uh, bulls are trying to work with these higher lows and higher highs. But bears can come down and dismantle this if they can come down, break below this, and they start making their own lower highs and lower lows. If we see something like that, that will be trend reversal in the short term, right? In the midterm, we're still in a downtrend. In the short term, bulls are trying to uh, trying to work, with, it's trying to build something here. So that oscillator is going to be the key going into tomorrow. If this thing crosses back down, uh, inevitably a bear is going to bring it down i'm thinking 438 at minimum i'm gonna come back for you we'll reassess the situation enjoy your evening and look train tomorrow